Hi, Gemini. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you. I'm going to ask for messages for Gemini. What's around you? Who's coming in? Messages for Gemini. All right. Three of coins. Ooh, to the ten of coins. Nice energy. You have the king of coins with the three of swords, lovers, and the knight of wands. Okay, under the deck is the king of cups. Interesting. With All right, so this could be definitely work related with the three of coins, ten of coins, um, with the king of coins, obviously. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be someone you work with. doesn't have to be because three of coins can also be friends to me and ten of coins can be family. So it can be someone related in that aspect. But this person seems to be broken hearted. And there's your card. So I'm assuming they miss you. I feel like this person is coming to see you. I feel like this person, for some, some of you, and we'll see what this unfolds, but I do feel like... This could be someone who works at a distance, lives at a distance, um, who may have strong feelings for you. I don't feel like this is an ex, you guys, but may come visit you with the Knight of Wands. But we'll see what unfolds. I'm going to pull from this deck. Yeah. Okay, it could be lucky travel. It could be traveling to see you, moving so they can be with you. Because I'm seeing here traveling to see you, to talk to you with Knight of Wands. Now, they don't have to be living far, so we'll see. Seven of Wands blocking, Two of Cups. So seven, seven could be important. Seven weeks, seven months, seven days. Could have been somebody you met through work or through a vacation. Maybe it was during the holidays. Okay, we have Double King of Coin, World, Four of Swords. I'm here and need to think something through. Four swords, needing to think something through. I feel like somebody you know or met, you may have met this person recently, is going to was really like taken by you or something and was going is going to make a quick decision to come see you. I feel like this person may be more or less missing you with the three of swords as opposed to heartbroken. There was some type of very strong connection. I am sorry about my cat. I don't know why she's meowing. She's just over I think she sees a bug up on the wall. Shh. Maybe. So, anyways. Because the energy I'm getting from these cards is that I get like someone needs to, needs to, not question, they need to explore this relationship with you before they let it go. I feel like there could have been you dating or them dating. I feel like this person needs to explore the options between the two of you. Okay, so I'm picking up, you met someone or they, and there may have been a third person, maybe you were taken or they were taken, but there was this very deep, strong connection between the two of you. Having to part made you very sad, made them sad. Maybe you didn't realize they felt this strongly. This person has been thinking about you for a while and they're deciding to come see you with the Knight of Wands energy. Now again, they're hoping to see how you feel about them. They're excited with the with this right here. This is like, Lucky trip is what it would mean just initially, but they're hoping to travel or come see you. When I say travel, you guys, they could live down the street. I'm not saying they have to live on another state or continent or country. I'm just saying, you know, walking, driving, whatever to see you. So they're hoping to see how you feel is what I'm getting because I'm getting that they're like, maybe you guys felt this strong initial attraction, but it's like, no, we can't do that. I'm married, you're married, or, you know, we're on a business trip or, you know, whatever. Seven of Wands, it was moving too fast. Oh, look what fell out. So maybe you said no to sex or hooking up. You guys decided not to, or maybe you did. Either way, there was definitely a strong connection that was formed. Okay. So this person, I get, is tired of feeling sad or missing you, thinking about you, and... What is the Nine of Wands? Yeah. So this is someone who's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go say how I feel. I'm going to go see this person. I'm going to go talk to them. I'm going to see if that connection was strong on their part. Did they feel the same thing? Is this going to go anywhere? Can this go anywhere? So it's like speaking up. So instead of sitting around and feeling sad, thinking about this person, or thinking about you, they're going to speak up. What is the Two of Cups? Yeah. There's definitely a strong emotion between the two of you. Now, let me just go out. Yeah, listening to their intuition. You li you're listening to your intuition. You guys both felt it. Now, if this hasn't happened, this is coming in probably in the month of February. Um, I get it's with, it's, it could be a very like close to home meeting. I was getting there was some type of travel or holiday or something, but it could be something as simple as going out with friends. This person, you might meet them. 
at a restaurant or a club or something. What is the Four of Swords? See, this could turn into something because what I'm getting is this person may have come across as a big flirt, maybe a player, or maybe you see them kind of that way, that Knight of Wands energy. But again, like I always say, the Knight of Wands isn't a player necessarily. You know, the guy's on fire. The knight he's got flames coming off of him. He's passionate. He's going to take a chance. He's going to say something. He's going to speak up. And if it works out, it does. If it doesn't, it's, you know, at least they did what they needed to do justice to see how you feel, to see where this is going. This could go somewhere. Get the four of wands next. So there's a connection here that the two of you felt very strongly or will be feeling um, coming in. It could be a past life soulmate connection, okay? Uh, could be, yeah, again, if you, could be someone, could be an Aries. Could be someone in a leadership type role. I'm almost getting like you met them in one, like maybe it was more like a party atmosphere. It was more like a vacation atmosphere. But when they come back in, they're more, you know, in, they're just different, more masculine, stronger, a leader coming in, taking control. You like this about them. You see that they um, decided to take the leap of faith and speak up and say something and show you how they feel. And this makes you very attracted and drawn to them. What is the world? What else? Yeah, this person, again, feeling out in the cold, missing you, wanting to come talk to you, wanting to give you a cup. It's kind of the feeling also that, again, you might think of them one way. You might have seen them as more as, you know, player energy possibly, but they're not. They come back in and they're very different. Their real self is is um, what you're going to see. Let's see where this could go. Let's see where this could go. So, again, lucky trip could be, I'm also getting someone's going on a cruise. Maybe it's a Mexican cruise or um, some type of trip. You may go on a trip and it ends up being very lucky because you meet this person. Honeymoon, yeah. This this card, of course, can mean, you know, obviously romance, honey. We, we get it. But also it tells me a lot of times someone is traveling or going somewhere where there's water. So, definitely, some of you are def going on a cruise. Could be also beach could be around the water, just in general, lake. could be around a lake you meet somebody. Passion, yeah. So I'm getting that definitely with this energy here, it was kind of like that flirty energy, that passion, um, that connection, wanting to hook up, wanting to be together, but maybe you guys both said no, or maybe you did, but either way, the details will vary. Let me see what one more deck as far as advice. Because I'm almost getting to meet this person. Like, th this is what they showed me. I'll just tell you. I kind of like see someone who's in their like, bathing suit, swimming trunks, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's how you meet them. I see drinks. I just see a lot of fun. But then when they come back, it's almost like they're in a business suit. They're very dressed. Um, they're very, you know, handsome. Like, it's, they're very different, but yet they're the same person. But you, know, you guys know what I mean. And it's like, you're like very like, wow. Maybe you kind of were guarded around this person. You thought they were just, you know... There was some, somebody completely different. Okay, advice, advice. New romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay, so they might be a Libra, but um, yeah, there's something new brewing here for a lot of you on some type of trip, somewhere you're going. If you haven't met this person yet, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's coming in. I get, I get the number six also with the six of cups. So it could be within six days, six weeks, you're going somewhere. Again, it doesn't have to be a major trip or traveling. Keep that in mind. Details vary. It's just showing me that it's somewhere maybe different. Um, could even be a, someplace new you're going to eat or going out with friends. Um, another message just came through. Hang on. I came in, but I was talking about something else. Again, also, yeah, if you met this person, maybe you met this person already, you know who I'm talking about, but they haven't come back in to talk to you. They will. Okay. Give it a little more time because they're kind of questioning if they should do this, especially if you had a boyfriend, girlfriend, that type of thing. When you guys met, you know, you were with someone. They're going to go ahead and just do it. So that might also kind of be a slight turnoff for some of you because of the Knight of Wands. You're like, oh, it was this person. But at the same time, it's may, it's really like showing you that this person thinks about you a lot and they're willing to take a chance to see how you feel about them and to tell you how they feel. All right, that's all I'm getting. I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.